Can Mel Gibson still get an audience to sympathize with him? You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Beaver. Walter is a man who's lost all hope, but he's about to find his voice. Bloody hell. Look at you. I'm sick. Do you want to get better? Who are you? I'm the Beaver, Walter. And I'm here to save your damn life. <laughs> the Beaver tells the story of a seriously depressed man who uses a beaver hand puppet to help him better communicate with his family. Yet in real life, considering how viciously Gibson communicated with his own family, how can that not cast a shadow over this film? Sure, one could make jokes about this situation, but it's actually pretty serious. Two Oscar winners and one promising new nominee have committed to this project, once a hot property in Hollywood, and it now threatens to be a stain on all their careers. Although it's doubtful anyone would notice another spot on Gibson's career, one of Hollywood's biggest stars destroyed by an alcoholic's downward spiral, which revealed misogynistic, racist, and anti-Semitic attitudes. Then there's director co-star Jodie Foster, who has taken the risk of standing by her star, all in an effort to try and shift the focus to her film's artistic aspects. Indeed, when she made The Beaver, Gibson's exploits had not yet reached critical mass. But when they did, Summit Entertainment put the film's release on hold and is finally testing the waters this weekend with a limited release. And while there have been whispers of support for Gibson, it certainly wasn't enough to save his last film, Edge of Darkness. In that film, in this one, and in fact in all his films, what makes Gibson stand apart is his willingness to viscerally show emotion. It's a persona he's even used successfully from behind the camera with the searing the passion of the Christ. Now the question audiences will have to answer for themselves is if Gibson is a victim or just relishes the role. Can you still sympathize with Mel Gibson? Uh, I thought this was about the movie. Yeah, I'm saying as a character. Oh, you know, yeah. Can, can, you, can yeah. you still see past his personal life? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah? yeah? How did he do in the film? Oh, I thought he was brilliant. Yes. Uh, I think it was a very important film. I think it's an important and brilliant film. Oh, why do you think it's important? What's important about it? Well, I, I, it addresses all of these matters, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it's about a guy who's suffering from serious depression and nothing has worked for him, and it, it's a familial thing. In the end, I don't know you could miss it, it said depression is a family matter. It takes, everybody's got to pitch in and help. Were you rooting for Walter? I wasn't rooting for him. I mean, it, it was kind of a sad story, uh, the way the whole thing played out, but I thought it was done really well. I, I picked up the paper, and they got me in the theater. I thought, wow, this looks like fun. <laughs> and then it was kind of about real life. What made you go and see this movie today? Uh, I heard Jodie Foster directed it, and it looked like it was going to be an interesting uh, topic. Was it? It was. It was really good. I love Jodie Foster. I love Mel Gibson. Um, I think they're both brilliant, and I thought it'd be really worth seeing. Do you think Mel Gibson's career can continue? I have no idea, but he was really good in this role. It was fascinating, particularly because, um, you know, his ability to do accents and go back and forth, and mm -hmm. then you're looking at the beaver, and you're looking at him, and, and I, I mean, his skill with managing it is... Uh, you know, That's great. He's brilliant. My son passed away at 40. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. In 2009, and uh, I fell in love with a con artist, and I had to replace him with the dog, and the dog's name was Muppet, you know? Oh, so, yeah. So Muppet, and he's got a puppet. Yeah. What was so, it, Sesame Street, where we got the word Muppet? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so see, this movie hit me pretty hard. I, think, I don't think anybody's going to go see it, really. I mean, I think maybe New York and Los Angeles, but... Why do you think people won't go? I just think it's too weird of a topic. Mm. What yeah. do you give the movie on a 1 to 10? Oh, I give it a 10. 9. I would say 5. 5? Okay. Yeah. You were looking for something else. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, it was so clever with the puppet. It was a very clever thing. So then why are you giving it a 5? Why do you want well, to give it a 5? Well, I thought... And that it oh, so you didn't like the way it ended. Yeah. Sounds like there's hope for Mel Gibson yet, as audiences give The Beaver on 8. And be sure to tune in for Movie Math Live every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I go over the weekend box office, followed by a Q&A about the business of Hollywood. Just go to youtube.com slash beyondthetrailer and click the Live tab at the top of the page. 
I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Union Square, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.